So I mentioned earlier that as I'm getting older, I tend to miss my turning a lot when I'm driving the car, but I'm also getting very forgetful. I am turning into a proper bam pot. I've just parked up at the place where I'm supposed to start my adventure today and realize I've left all my food and drink in the fridge. So I'm having to drive back to Dunkeld to get some sandwiches and some juice because I can't do a 20 mile cross country run without something to eat, I'm sorry. So here we are got myself some food. I've had to drive back to Dunkeld to get some sandwiches and drink. And while I was at it, I thought I'd buy a bag of the co-op's own onion rings. I highly recommend them. £1.15 for a massive bag and they're very tasty, delicious. Phew! Onion rings for breakfast. It's not the first time I've had them for my breakfast. Very tasty and delicious. I am Scottish after all, so maybe I'll have some fried bars bars for my tea. Yeah! This is an absolutely stunning glen. I had a wonderful feeling of isolation here and I'll definitely be returning to do it again. putting my drone called Spud up into the air to follow me through this wonderful glen. can hear it was very windy and the wind was howling through the glen and I can tell you it was absolutely freezing. Oh, set in my heart, the 
rose up with butterflies Who sent in my heart? Who sent in my heart? Fills up with butterflies
Well, here I am putting my expert mechanical skills to good use. Otherwise I would have been stranded in this glen and it would have been a long walk back to the car. Fuck off. Oh, bloody hell. Two broken chains. Let's hope I don't get another one. It's getting dark. Here we go, a very nice but short and sweet descent from Glen Shee to Strathban below.